<laughs> Give him a little tap on the back there. That'll keep him occupied for a minute. Alright, I'm all down here. One guy right there. See, I told you more would come. Four more. A little bit more than I anticipated, but... Uh, what are you gonna do? Alright. Make sure I'm not being targeted. And yeah, recharge. This guy's all alone. So I'm gonna take out him first. If he doesn't be stupid and walk this way, of course. Oh yes. Target pathing. Uh, and they left the turret completely unguarded. Well, they stand right in perfect pathing. Excellent. Oh, except for that guy. And the rest of them. Screw this. I don't know where the other guy went, but... That's everybody but one. And that's one strategy you can do with this game, just run around stealth killing everything. But, what's the fun in that? <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Alright, now what you need to do here is... Tag him. Target confirmed. Stand by. Incoming right, in hide three, right here. Two. Yikes. Alright. Shit, man. That was too close. That was. Alright. I don't think there's going to be any more. That nah, looks appears to be it. But, and then your next objective is right here. It was somewhere here. And so what you got to do, can't go through the doors. And this is originally where I thought the uh, dancing Seth soldiers, not Seth soldiers, dancing uh, cell soldiers were, but it appears they were back where I originally thought they were back in about episode 15 or so. I'm just guessing there. Don't quote me on that. But now this is what I call distraction, 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 more distraction, and please don't look at me. I will not want to die here. Why do I call it that? Because of this. You're on a rooftop, and there's a whole bunch of guys. You have the tactical advantage. Remember that, because they want to kill you, and they have to gut up here to get to you. And to get to you, they either have to run along right here, Ooh. What the heck was that? I don't Alcatraz, remember that either. Alcatraz, the road's clear. We need to get going. Try to find a way down here. Hurry! Easy for you to say, girl. You're not currently got six. One, two, three, four, four. Well, there's six. There's two heavies back there. But the only way they can get to you is along this roof, or if they make a really long jump up here. And the only time I've ever really seen them do this jump is never. So. I find the best option here is hold on to your Grendel. Let's say goodbye to the Marshall. Where's that scar? It's a Grendel, definition Grendel. Where the heck's the scar? I know there's a scar here someplace. Or am I just dreaming that? No, it appears I was dreaming the scar. Okay. No scar, sorry. Okay, so we're not saying goodbye to the Marshall just yet. 
So what can I do here? Because normally I'd use a scar to do uh, a little bit of sniping. But this time, I think I'm gonna go semi-automatic. And back up a bit. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna hop up there. Actually, this might work out better. Quickly switch over to no attachment. Because if you don't make it silence, then it does more damage. But see, this guy's gonna run along here. Hopefully. If I remember correctly. And he should jump up onto here. And as soon as he does that, blow his brains out. Like so. Not that complicated. And if memory serves, they should not be doing that again. Until... Mind you, until... I get him. Yes, I did. They launch another wave of troops that land. And when that other wave lands, they're gonna land right on top of you, quite literally. Because... You jump down here. One guy lands right about there. Another one right about there. And a few more over there. So it does not end up being fun. Alcatraz, what are you doing up there? You gotta get back here! There's the second wave. And you can get them to spawn there early if you kill, I believe it's two. But now we're gonna get swarmed. Oh, hello. Another guy right here. Just playing a little hide and go seek. Oh, what the heck? I just hit you in the face. Oh, you wanna go? Let's go. How's it going, Bo? Now you're dead. Okay. They didn't behave as I expected them to there, but whatever, I'm adaptable. So now it appears they're gonna hang back a bit. And normally, they don't get that close to me. That was a little unexpected. Not how I planned it. Oh, you're new. And now you're dead. Oh, hello. And... Jump. Do the jump. Do the jump. I know you want to. Do the jump, do the jump, do the jump. And down you go. Oh, he's not dead? What is that? Oh, you're gonna do the jump. Whoa. Little miss there, bro. Taking a few more rounds than I expected them. But, whatever. Is that other guy still down there? Nope, he'd be dead. So, one last quick look. Just to see if I missed anybody. And no, I didn't. Now, back there, there are two heavies. Again, you do not need to engage the heavies. Repeat, you do not need to engage the heavies. There's just simply no point. Either way, you can get past them with relative ease if you follow the next steps almost exactly.
There are other ways to do it, but this way, I find, is the easiest. So what we do is you grab your most powerful weapon, in this case, it would be the Marshal. And you jump down here, but be ready to hide. Just in case the game decides to be a Dickensian and give you more guys. But thankfully, it appears to be somewhat kind to me today, which gets me worried. Because <laughs> it usually means that I'm going to have to deal with something a lot harder later. Alright, so you go around to this little ledge here, and if you need a spot to recharge, here. Good spot. Can't really see you. Can't really shoot you. Heavy number one. Right there. There's a mic and a turret and another turret up here. And a M27... M120 Gauss rifle. There's the other heavy right there. A little bit hidden. But they're there. And thankfully they haven't noticed me yet. That makes this almost easier. But the main problem is, you don't really need to worry about that guy yet. The main problem is this guy. Because he is standing directly where you want to go. So what you do is you cycle to your longest range weapon and you distract him. And he's gonna get a little pissed totally miss with a missile. But the important bit is he'll start walking. You can hit him a bit with that, which be fun. Overall, you don't really need to. This is just a distraction. I might actually kill him. Alcatraz, we're out of time. You have to get back here now. Okay. They want me to go? I'll go. There's another heavy up there. I'm not gonna worry about him. Now what you do here is don't just jump. Wait. This building will fall closer. And now you jump. And enjoy the cutscene. a nuclear bomb would cause a lot more devastation than that small area they highlighted. The radiation fallout would be enough to wipe out half the eastern seaboard. It's not a pretty sight. Hopefully none of you have to, li have to witness one. Scorpion 1, on approach. This is Scorpion 3, coming up on the plateau. Christ, look at this thing. Incredible. Get us as close as you can. Now 
Alcatraz, you need to get right into the heart of the Spore Regulator. Once you're in, the suit should take care of the rest. rather take your chances with the nuke? This is the only shot we have! No hope in hell we're getting near that thing. Ground's too unstable to land. Atmospherics are reading off the chart. You want out? This is as close as we get. All right. Scorpion 3, drop him off. Alcatraz, we'll shadow you as far as we can. Good luck, pal. Better you than me. All right, and here we are. What they're gonna do is they're just gonna leave us alone. This is the final mission. This is where the game ends. And probably over the course of the next hour, I will hope to complete it. That's right, Crisis 2 is drawing to an end, and that means that Crisis 3 is just around the corner. February 19th, I believe the date was, and don't worry, it's already been pre-ordered. So, you guys will get to see that as soon as I get the uh, recording set up, set up for that game. So, yes, but no, no, let's focus on Crisis 2. Right here, you don't need to worry about anything. There's not going to be enemies coming over that hill over there, or people coming in from up there. Don't, don't worry. Here, you are safe until you get much farther in. But for now, let's just enjoy the chaos that is New York. So... What do we got? Bad polygons. More bad polygons. Better polygons. Better. Bad. 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 I don't blame the developers for this. I'm just simply pointing it out that maybe you could live a little bit more into the area that you just left. Because, I mean, the building that you just left off of is right about... I think it's just past that one right there. So yeah, put a little bit more effort into the polygons. But in the meantime, let's look at the more graphically intensive, which I'm still running at about 49 frames per second, which is awesome. Huh. That'd be one hell of a view sitting on that bench. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Alcatraz, we're still up here. I got the suit feed up and running. I'll give you as much technical support as I can, but I'm playing catch-up myself. For now, just work your way up to the spear. I'm right on your shoulder, man. If you were right on my shoulder, you'd be carrying a gun. 